Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the final October edition of Topic Time with Harrison Young. Yes, it is Monday, October 30th, and we just see a media. Okay. We are having Halloween tomorrow. I don't know if you guys are doing anything. I'm probably just going to be hanging out. Uh, you know, I'm not handing any candy out. You never know what kind of stuff might happen if you do. But uh, I just, just assume just enjoy the holiday by myself and, you know, let the, and buy people's costumes. But you know what? This is also my 340th Topic Time episode in history. It's unbelievable. And to celebrate that milestone, I have a very iconic guest here. This is Laura, Lorraine Vizella, but she goes by Laurie. Yes. She's a... Uh, She's a comedian, she's, a film, she's an actress, and she's a writer. And she's got a lot of stuff. She's a mom. She's, she brought a child with her, a young, young daughter with her. She's watching this today on the, over there. It's really awesome. So, Laurie, thanks for coming in today. Oh, you're welcome. And oh. also, um, I'm actually taping another, um, retaping my serial daters. You which? I'm retaping serial daters, so it's a short about relationships. It's a comedy. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I'm rewriting it, getting a new camera person, and working on that as well. Okay, is this, is this something you just started? Nope, I started a while back and um, I kind of stopped and now um, I have to redo it over again. Okay, well, well I understand, you gotta edit it. Yeah, no, it's not editing. It's actually um, gonna refilm it all over again, the scenes. Okay, oh, okay, is this, like, is this like a documentary on dating? No, it's not a documentary. It's a short, independent film yep. um, regarding relationships. It can be dating relationships, relationships I had with my family. Okay. It's based on a, um, true events with myself and my good friend, Jamie Ryan, which we used to do sports nuts. So we did this little oh. YouTube sports nuts kind of thing where I made predictions about football. Oh, you, love, you like sports? Cool. Yeah, and I kind of made quirky good, um, predictions, and it was a comedy little skit that we did together because we had great chemistry on the air. Oh, really? Well, are you still doing it now? No, we kind of took a little hiatus. We were going to think about doing some other things with it, but we're always working together and uh, collaborating. Oh, well, well, when you're doing this, this sounds awesome. When you were doing this, where exactly did you do this? Well, we would pick various locations. Like okay. one time we did in Kmart. Okay. K which K well, Kmart, Kmart where? Kmart and Somerville. Oh, Somerville, okay. Yeah, another time we did it outside in the pouring rain. We would do it at my pool. Um, it, we would just... Uh, but it was a funny location. Uh, we did it by a train, railroad track. Okay. Where we felt spontaneous and we would... It so this was, this was something you did for film and it was on YouTube? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Oh. Sports Nuts. It's like N-U-T-Z with Jamie Ryan. Okay. Yeah. So you're both... So you're a big sports fan too? Um, yeah, I love the sports, actually. I love the Red Sox. Love the I Red was, Sox? Yeah. Well, are you, are you happy with the new manager choice? Eh, Joe. I don't really... Mm, yeah. He's, he might win the World Series for Houston. That's what we want. I'm yeah. hoping he does. I'm a diehard Red Sox. I love the Patriots. I like hockey. I mean, I remember uh, watching hockey growing up with my stepdad and so forth. Oh, cool. Okay, the Bruins? Yeah. All right, there you go. What about the Celtics? Um, I actually went to high school with um, some players in the baseball. I don't really like bas I mean, excuse me, basketball that much, but okay. uh, I went to high school with Patrick Ewan, Ramel Robinson, famous basketball well, that, players. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. Cambridge runs in Latin. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You're about, you guys are about the same age. You told me your age. He's a little older. Is he? Yes, he Okay. Is. I was a freshman. You're both younger than me, though. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> that's wild. All right, well, let's talk about that. So let's talk, that's awesome. I didn't, I'm so glad you brought that up because I did not know that. That's why we ask these questions on topic time. Yeah, I'm a true um, Canterbury. I'm actually third generation Cambridge. My grandmother came here from Ireland okay. to live in Cambridge. Um, my mother grew up in Cambridge, and I grew up in Cambridge. So Ireland, hi. Huh? You, but you, your last name sounds Italian. Yeah, I'm Gaelic and Gaelic. My dad's go. Italian, my mother's Irish. Gaelic and typical, Gaelic, wow. Typical what Bostonian, what are you going to say? I know, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Wow. All right, well, let's, let's go over the things that you've done, you know, per, per, film, you know, entertainment-wise, one, one after another, all your projects that you can name in the half oh, hour geez. that we have, so um, just ballpark them. All right, so I d I've done a lot of shorts. I played um, a junkie girl in an Xmas story with Eamon Brooks, who's from Southie. Um, I played a mistress. It, no, was it, no, wait a minute, hold up. Is this, I'll ask questions when I get interjected. Are these like all TV little web series? Um, no, they're independent short films. Films, okay. Yeah. Um, I played a mistress in the suitcase um, with David Garfield. I played a nurse um, with um, Douglas Gordon. Um, he also is a cameraman. He's going to be the one that's going to refill my serial data with okay. a C. So serial like you eat. Yep. Is a comedy about relationships, dating, relationships, relationships on. Sounds like line. something that might be on Sundance. 
Yeah, it could be. Okay, actually. that'd be great. You know why? Because everybody has relationships. Like a relationship, business relationships. Yep. You know, your father relationship. Your so it father. isn't just romance from relationships. No, it's just, it's just relationships, relationships in general. In today's world, with the internet, with texting, okay. with social networking, and just one-on-one -on -one relationships, how people communicate. And the thing is, is I had humor in it, so I'm like naturally kind As of it comedic. Be. Oh, good. I can so, tell. <laughs> if I get a chance, I'll tell a joke. Um, so, kind of segue into that. I, I um. I've always been told that I've been funny, so... Um, Ever I, do stand-up? Yeah, and okay. I took a comedy writing class in Cambridge at the Hong Kong, which a lot of famous comedians... The Hong Kong? What's yeah, that? Yeah, it's a restaurant in Cambridge in Harvard Square. Okay. And one of... Uh, Russ Stone taught it, and a lot of... It's a comedy um, uh, thing on Wednesday and Sunday nights, and a lot of great people came out of there. They've been on the late-night talk shows and stuff like that. Wow. So I took a comedy writing there. I um, always love comedy naturally, and I have my friends who are in the industry, because I'm a union actress, I'm okay. second after actress, um, tell me, you got to do stand-up. Just you telling your stories are funny. Even um, Steve Sweeney, who's a major comedian here, I know he, is. he took me to coffee, Steve Sweeney, with the black pants and the white um, socks, says, Laurie, I know funny, and you're funny. You just tell your story. That's all you can do. And then he wanted me to promote him. I said, Steve. How much are you going to pay me to promote you? I don't do it for free. Listen. There you go. This is a major comedian asking me to promote him. That's awesome, though. Yeah, yeah. Have, so, you um, work with Lenny Clark? Yeah, but he grew up with my sister. I did a That's show right. with Lenny Clark. Too. I did the restaurant. I played a Boston wet, uh, waitress. Okay. You know, my waitress a lot. My mom was a, a waitress her whole life. She worked in famous places in Boston, but Lindstrom's. Okay, I mean, yeah, she, yeah, sure. yeah. She wow. worked for the SNS in Cambridge for many years. Um, so, you know, that comes like second nature to me. Sure. So, I played a Boston waitress in a short film. Um, Get segue into the stand-up comedy. I just did it an open mic night to see if I could do it. It was a dare, my friend Jamie and I. Okay. So I got, got up there, I did it. Um, Where did, was this open mic night? Um, we did it at Tavern at the End of the World where Charlestown meets some of them. Okay. Back in the day, it used to be a fight outside, but okay. now people just smoke pot and chill. Okay, I hear yeah. you. I, so um, because my teacher at the Hong Kong taught, said to go there, we can... Because once you take the class, you can get into the doing the stand-up, um, open mic night, kind of find your way. Then I did it... Um, the Iron Furnace in Quincy, and unfortunately they closed down because they couldn't pay the lease. Oh. But I met a lot of uh, people in the industry and networks. I met a lot of major comedians who were doing the circuit. Ever meet Dave Russo? Yeah. Uh, he was a guest on my show a yeah, few months yeah, ago. Yeah. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, a good friend of mine. I grew up in Cambridge, Joey Carroll. He's a comedian. He does it. Um, he does a lot it's of It's not the same stuff. as Joey Voices, right? I know him too. Oh, good. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'd love to get these people on the show. Yeah, yeah. So if you, especially Joey Voices sings too. Uh, well, right. He sings. He impersonates. impersonates he does yeah, it well. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm just saying that's the beautiful thing about my show is that I get people on. Just that, ask them. Well, I mean, I, I've tried to, but it's hard. To, it's easier if I get some influence. Like if tell him I've been on. Maybe he'll come. Well, on. He'll, that's what I'm saying. He'll see this, and then maybe he'll come <laughs> on. You know. Well, no, but I mean, this is how it works. We yeah, get yeah. people on, but that's awesome. I mean, yeah. you seem like you 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 got you got a very you know a stucky person, stucky, not stuffy, stucky. <laughs> person. I, I just made that word up, but that's the kind of personality you have, and it seems to it seems to push you very well in well, the you know what is, I, I'm, domain. I'm, as a little girl, I was always fascinated with human beings. Like, I would go to Harvard Square and just sit and watch people, watch their personalities. Cool. Like, I would just study them. So when I meet people, I think everybody has something to offer to you. There's some experience or something they have to teach you. Right. So I study people, and, and um, that helps me, too, with my writing to build characters. Okay. So right now, currently, I'm working on a... Um, Script, I like a book script, and it's about my life growing up as wow. Irish and Italian in Boston and Cambridge. There you go. So that's a lot of my family. My great grandfather was Italy, and it's it's called um, Words Unspoken, Star Stories Untold. Okay. So I'm working on that as well, um, and I'm taking a writing class on Monday nights. Um, you can you know come and go. It's the Harvard Script Writers Group. Okay, wow. So that helps me a lot to network with a lot of great people in the industry. Not only are they writers, yep. but they're doctors. They're intelligent. They're, um, you know, lawyers. They have other profession. They have, like, do careers. So for me, by osmosis, I'm just sucking in all this knowledge. Wow. And I love it. That's I just love being around people who, cool. like, I had a friend the other day say to me, Laurie, why do you go to the dark side? I say, I go to the dark side because that feeds my creativity. That, like, you take tragedy or bad things that happen to you and you make it into comedy. There if you, you look go. at Shakespeare, that's what it's all about. We had this discussion the other day. Yeah. I said, you know, you look and see the ha glass is half empty or half full. And you see, that's great. I know. Like tragedy. Well, if you do the studying about comedy, a yep. lot of things, like if you look at stand-up comedians that are famous, they talk about a lot of things that had happened to them. Right. And it, it like personally happened to them and it, it may affect them in a negative way and they, they make humor out of it. That's how, I, as you an Irish person, as an Irish person, that's how you get through a lot of, 
you know, kind of trials and tribulations in your life. Right. Because you just like, you have quick wit and humor yep. and stuff like that. And it, it's a good way to pick yourself up. It's, wow, you're great at that. I can <laughs> tell. You got, man, you got, you're, so, you're so snappy with the dialogue. It's awesome. <laughs> well, now, Thank okay, you. you model too? Uh, well, you? I've done, when I was younger, I did, I did modeling in um, Florida and here. And um, I am signed. Florida, you said? Yeah, I used okay. to live in Florida. I am signed with Models Club. Um, I've, I was on the Citizens Print ad. Okay. Um, I've done some industrial stuff, which has to do with, like, um, say if you're in the, a medical field and you want to find out about tutorials, so you go, like, I did this one flu vaccination thing. So, um, yeah, I've done dibble dabbled in modeling. Okay. I, did, I was a hair model when I was younger. Wow. I did a lot of hair modeling with shows. And um, when I was like, 1820. I was an. I used to dance. I was a New Kids in the Block video. Um, you games. were in a New Kids in the Block video. Yeah, I used wow. to dance when I. You still, yeah. you still keep in touch with those guys at all? No, 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 no. no. Well, well, that's awesome. New I mean, kids I in came back home. I, I'm a real estate agent. I was on Flipping Boston TV show. Okay. They asked me to be on that. That's about real estate investments. So I, when I was 28, I fell into some money. I, I got hit by a drug driver and I invested in real estate. And then when I was 24, I worked on Fever Pitch as an extra. And you worked on what as an extra? Fever Pitch, the movie about oh, okay. the Red Sox, yep. as an extra, and that's not with Angela Perry in Boston casting. Right. And that's how I was like, you know what? I, I just want to do it here in Massachusetts. I want to be part of it, but I wanted to be part of it in the independent film segment because I felt that that's more attainable for me right now. If I really wanted to like be big in it, I would move to New York or L.A., but I had a child. That was my first priority. Right. Is she your only one? So, yeah, one and only, one and done. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. I was later in life I had, I was 40. Wow. Yeah, so. Yeah, she doesn't look that old. She looks like she's 13 or 14. <laughs> she's 11. 11, okay, yeah. yeah. She's a year older than my nephew. Yeah. Okay. Kids are big today. What's that? Kids are big today. I All know. the hormones in the food. What's that? All the hormones in the food. Yeah, I, that's true. They do grow. They grow big. My, yeah. yeah, I know. My nephew was, he had to be, he had to be extricated by a C-section 10 years ago. And he was touch and go. He was 10 and a quarter pounds at birth. Wow. He came, he came in here to see me interview Vinnie Paz a few weeks ago. Oh, you did interview Vinnie Paz? I did. That's so interesting. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, you should watch that show. You'll yeah, see it. Yeah, I got I love boxing. Yeah, like, I know. I figured you did. And I'm going to have another, I'm going to have a, a, a boxing, a female boxing promoter on too with a manager. Oh, and my God. I and, love yeah, that. so I get a lot of kinds of cool guests. Yeah, from. yeah, yeah. All right. Well, so what, what are you doing now specifically? Um, right now, um, I am trying to sell my, I'm trying to do real estate. You're still doing real estate, Yeah, okay. I have two properties I need to sell. I'm writing my script. Is Somerville by the chance? By any chance? Were they, Somerville? Uh, uh, that's that where your properties are? No, no, one of my properties is in Chelsea by oh. the airport and the other one's in Rosendale. Okay. So that's close to Boston. I know. Uh, yeah. Um, I used to work in Somerville real estate and I'm trying to get back into lease, um, leases. The reason why I'm doing that yep. is I want to fund my projects okay like I want to refilm serial days and I want to make it like an episode like have serial days one two and three so I need to fund it um, I was thinking about doing crowdfunding I will do that as well um, and then I am still taking my writing class on Mondays and I'm writing my script which is going to probably be a full feature of book wow. so um, yeah and I'm still gonna do some stand-up open mic nights and I feel that I do that just to keep my mind sharp and I get out there and I you know mix and mingle with the other um, young kids people who've been in the industry for a while I connect with a lot of comedians and it just helps me to get in that whole form of you know the kind of comedian writers acting I need to be in that niche in order to really thrive wow. in the community that is so cool yeah I now like it. when did you start writing the script that you're talking about now? Uh, probably um, last year okay you but in my head I wrote it over like 50 times I, of course yeah. you know and you're not gonna and also, I lived it and then well, I wrote it in my head well when you when, <laughs> when you finally have it down the way you want it what do you what's going to be the next step um, I'd have to um, get get it in the right hands right. distribution like I had an opportunity on the movie that was filmed in Boston well man yep. with one of the great producers and I didn't even know who he was one of the teams the guy goes oh go talk to that guy over there so I went to talk to him and he was like one of those great producers that produced like Liam ne Neeson's movies and wow. stuff like that okay. so I had like not literally like seven minutes to pitch what I was working on serial data wow. and he gave me some inside information um, he uh, you know told me how to get into the industry and I googled them after and he, people were like lining up young students just graduating film school just to get in front of a panel like and he was on it to pitch their movie wow to. so you know I you must have felt like you were in pretty good company to be able to do that yeah like guy. he was just a regular guy I didn't even know who sure. he was and I was just talking to him like you and just telling him what my ideas what I was working on and everything and he gave me some valuable information you did oh, that's great yeah, yeah okay yeah. all right well so now right now uh, you spend your, what do you spend your days doing? Just mostly real estate and writing, and that's. And um, I spend my days raising my daughter. Raising your daughter. Yep. Um, I actually 
did a little bit of Uber driving because oh, yeah, you I do like my own studies. What do you think? I mean, you know something? Do you want to, <laughs> being an Uber driver, you you could you could rake up enough material there to do a stand up oh show. Oh my god, I feel like I'm it's it's I feel like it's like field work yeah, for writers. Exactly. It, I meet so many interesting characters. Right. And not even the fact like for writing, for comedy, but it's almost like a spirituality in a way because I meet some very... It's almost like a what? Spirituality. Spirituality. Like I meet okay. some yep. people... Like my first Uber ride, I yep. got in a car with this guy. He was from, he was from like Uganda and he told me... And I saw the sticker he had in his car and it said, Church of Second Chances. So I was like, sign me up. I got to go there. I need to redeem myself. Wow. I've been sinning. I'm a Catholic, but I believe in spirituality. And the guy was so nice and he spelled... He's, he spoke so eloquently, and he was telling me how we just came back from Italy, and how he believes that everybody on earth is equal, and that we all should, we're all in this together, that we should treat people right. And I was like, you know what? That's a lesson right there. Like, that was God speaking sure. to him. But like, you know, I bring my, and guess where I was going? I was going to Laughs in Boston, because Tony V, who's a major legend in Boston, he's a right. comedian, he said, Larry, just schedule yourself, and you can come up anytime. But I can't even, like, that's down the line right. to get myself scheduled to go to Laughs. I could do it, but it's like, that would be like one of my short-term goals. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are you, were you, were you kind of raised in, in a strict Catholic family? Do you have oh a strict Oh my Catholic? God, I'm Irish and Italian. I right, yeah. I Roman kind of Catholic. My, both my parents sure. went to Catholic school. Yeah, so you went to, you never did, you just, every school you went to was parochial school? No, no, no. I'm one of six. I have younger brothers and sisters, half brothers and sisters that didn't go to Catholic school. Oh, I, I went to public school in Cambridge. Okay. No, did you go to college at all? I went to U.S. Boston. Um, okay. I took communication theater and... Um, you know, some writing class. I was actually wrote a, um, I wanted to go to Northeastern for journalism. Okay. And I, I did not even, I'm sorry, I didn't want to go for journalism. I wrote to go to Northeastern and they said, you're accepted into journalism. I went for two weeks, but at the time I didn't have a lot of money financially. My dad wouldn't pay for me. So um, I kind of was in a, a rock and a high place and I didn't do it. And I worked with my family business. My dad owned a lot of businesses and stuff like that. Okay. So I never finished college. I mean, I have, you know, like 75 credits, but I've taken like continued classes all along. You know? Okay. Why did you want to do journalism? I, you read I didn't. They, I wrote a 500 I mean, it word is a great, essay it is a great, and they said to me, you should be in journalism. Yeah, it, it, it is a great, uh, you know. Because I'm always investigating things. I have that right. probing exactly. kind of mind. And also I always play, um, I, I believe in conspiracy theories. You believe in which? Conspiracy theories. Okay, like I believe yeah. like, the, like the devil's advocate. I always push the envelope. Yep. Like I, somebody will say something and I'll go, hmm. It's an awesome field because, you know, there's all, you know, to be able to report and plus it helps your writing skills too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Have you ever been on, a, a, you said you were on another TV show in Boston before? Yeah, like you know, like in, like in Boston Cable, you did a show. Oh, yeah, I did on um, Boston Community Cable Network. Okay. Um, in with James Sayer, okay. so that's um, James Taylor, the singer. No, Sayer. James oh, Sayer. Sayer. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. And um, Michael Flaherty. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. So it's on Boston Community Cable. It's B, I think it's BCT or something like that. Right. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. They interviewed me on that. Good. Okay. So, so you love you. you you've spent a lot of time in the Boston, Boston, Cambridge, you're circulating. Yeah, around. I mean, I, when I I was in New York in the '90s, um, okay, I used to live there? out there. Um, I had a whole bunch of friends. We moved out there, and I started to, you know, New, York, New York City. Yes, okay. Manhattan. I lived out there in the '90s, and yep. I wanted to get into modeling. And it kind of didn't, you know, I wasn't tall enough. But I met a lot of people in the music industry, and I met a. Um, before he became famous, I used to hang out with Vin Diesel. With who? Vin Diesel. Oh, yeah. Vin Diesel, yeah, no yeah. way, wow. So um, I used to hang out with him, go to auditions. He's a Love writer. Love to get him on the show. Yeah, good luck with that. I can't even get in touch with him now. Wow. You have to excuse me. I'm kind of losing my voice. No, no, you're doing great. <laughs> okay, now did you say, did you say, were you involved in music in any way? Did you say you were doing music at all? No, I met a lot of people in the music industry You did, in but York. you, except the fact that you were in a New Kids on the Block video. Oh, yeah, I was a dancer in that, yeah. Okay, well, would you, have you ever um, done anything, you never, you never tried singing or, or playing any musical instruments? No, no, no. You, well, you might want to. I always try to give advice to my guests to help them out and down the line. It might be, you know, the more multifaceted you are, yeah. The more opportunities yeah. you have. I mean, it's up to you. I mean, you got. I mean, right now like you got a lot of Like the old actors, the classic actors in the '40s, they could sing, dance, and act. Exactly. My daughter, who's 11 years old, says I can't sing. Mommy, you should just hang it up. She says that. Oh yeah, she don't listen sing. to her. She got a, uh, the beats on. My beats over there, so she's not even listening to her. Typical kid. She's well, not listening to us. But you know, all right. Well, let's say for instance that you can't. You know, you, there's nothing wrong with being someone who's comedic. Why don't you do like comedic music? Make com make up com make like a comedy musical out of, up to yourself. Write a script where people sing. You know, it's almost like a like kind of like an yeah. opera. It's funny. Like an like a twenty first century opera with goofy lyrics. Yeah, and maybe. Get a cast together. It's an idea. 
What's that? It's an idea. Yeah, I just like, you know, it might be fun. I mean, I would probably get booed you off. You thrive on originality, don't you? Yeah, I do. There you go. I took a music, I took a sing, a voice class. You in, did. Um, when I, I took it, the lady said to me, "This is where'd your, you take it? Um, at Bristol Studios in Boston. Okay. So she said that I should sing uh, yesterday." By the Beatles? Yeah. Okay. Because that's kind of like my yesterday. Oh, in other words, you did, like your best All days are behind you? All my seem so far nah. away. That's terrible. Why would they talk to you like that? That's not cool. But then, when I was like 20-something, yeah. actually, you remember Community Auditions? You I remember do. Um, Rex made. Taylor? They asked me to be a country and western singer. And you I was should like, have. Back then, okay, so if I'm 51, back then when I was in my 20s, nobody was listening to country and western in Massachusetts. That's not true. So I was like. Is anything like, yeah, but Community Auditions. I was into rap. Community, right, but okay, but Community and hip hop, well, you could have done that too. I know, but, but I don't community know. auditions doesn't matter. I mean, you, you you have your own thing. Okay, I sabotaged my life. I should have done. No, it. no, I'm all done. Maybe <laughs> you can do it now. It's, they brought it back, you know. I know. Listen, my life's like a country western song. Play backwards. I got to get the house back, the bottle back, the hu the husband back. <laughs> okay, my cousin was on that. Sarah Silverman, do you know who she is? I do. Yeah, she's my cousin. She's great. Yeah, she's something, isn't she? Yeah, she was, she's that was something. like one of her first gigs. She's yeah, she's she a singer something. too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that she's would be good. good. Um, okay, well, uh, you, know, you, you, you still do Uber driving now? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> well, how, when you when you do Uber driving, how is that different from regular cabbing? I mean, I suppose it's the, 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 the ride's more luxurious for the passengers. Yeah, I have a new car. Um, there's certain hot spots, so they tell you on the app. It's all app-based. Yep. So you go to hot spots. Like, I was in Brookline. They'll tell you the section on the app, like Brookline, yep. Newton. This is a hot spot. At this time, so you get three times a point. So you'll get more money for just driving in those areas. Of course. Than opposed to it's, areas a rich, it's a richer neighborhood. Yeah. Well, it's not even the fact that richer neighborhood. It's a hot spot because it's where people want the ride, so it's in demand. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, uh, now, what do, you, what do you do? Like, you still do open mics now? I I'm gonna start doing it again. I did it. I stopped doing it a couple weeks ago because, no, like a month ago because they shut down I and Ferguson. All right, you I want it And then there's one, the Sally and Brothers in Somerville. There's um, Blindy Stone in Dorchester. Which they asked me to come um, be there because I add something different to it as a woman. And when I get up there, I had to say, but I shoot from the hips and, you know, I talk about sex, sex sells. Oh, I know it does. Hey, why I not? Just, I just let it flow. Especially from a good looking girl. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just talk about my life experience and just get out there, you know. You know, being an older lady and being, in, you know, not married. And well, you look like you're in good shape, though. Thank you. you, you, I, I you work, work out, out, out regularly? No. Really? Not lately. I have been, though. Well, like, years ago, I did. Well, my guess is you, you, you know, you put the, you have so much energy that it burns, you know, you know it burns oh, off yeah, I have a, fat, a lot of work. fast you know, metabolism. Exactly. So, my, I'm, I started to do a little yoga here and there, but I got to get foot surgery, so I have to kind of take it easy. You got a witch? Get foot surgery. I bust my foot doing cross, oh, uh, cross yeah, training, yeah. so I kind of messed my foot up. Okay. Now, what do you like to, you like to go out, to, like, during, like, I know you live in the city, but do you like to ever go to the country, like oh, yeah, the mountains, yeah. the, the, the oh, beach, yeah. or any of over that? The su over the summer, we went to Atlantic City, okay. we went to Vermont, we went to Maine, I went to New York. There you go. Yeah, so I love Just to travel. Love to travel? I went to New Hampshire. Yeah? Yeah. Why Atlantic City? To gamble? No, my daughter was in the Dance National. I do gamble. She was in a which national? Dance National. Oh, there you go. So yeah, she's, she's a, dancer. a dancer. There you yeah. go. Wow. Yeah. Well, there she, you know, she, she had she the opportunity to be on she, the show, but. Yeah, she was in a commercial. For which? Um, for pizza. Um, it's American. I forget. Uh, what? For flatbread pizza. National commercial? No, it's not national. It was on. Um, it was on uh, web. On okay. Web. Yeah. Wow. She got her first voucher. She was on um, SMLF, which they picked up here in um, in Boston. She got a voucher for doing paintball, a SAG voucher. Oh, cool. Yeah, wow. Yeah. What about you? Have you ever been in any commercials or, um, or, or, or any? Have you ever been in any? Have you ever been in you know in any major films? I know you've done indie stuff. Yeah, I've been in just extra work and stand. I did a lot of. You stand told me work. you were in one of those films, but go ahead. Can you like? like I did stand in work here in New York. I did right. a lot of stand in work. Um, okay. And I've done extra work, so I don't have any um, principal credits okay. in major films yet. Right. But no. I will. Well, you'll have uh, you'll have your IMDb credit for topic time yeah, tonight yeah. after the show is I'm up. I'm shooting for the stars. Yeah, there you go. As you should be. Yeah. Yeah, you bet. You know, the best part of your life is ahead of you. That's what I always say. There you go. You have a good outlook. Uh, of course, you have to be. My, you know, I'm, 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 I'm 58, so I get a lot of, you know, you got I a lot of living. A lot right? of living. Yeah, the best part's ahead of me, and I've never thought I'd get as far as I did. I never thought I'd even live this long. Really? Oh yeah. I've had, you know, I mean, I've had some health issues and stuff. Unfortunately, I've survived them all, at least for the moment. No That's meds good. at all for me. Because I went from being like a, you know, a teenage drug user back in the 70s. To, yeah. You know, get through that. Yeah. I needed to. Yeah. You know, so I mean, so Everybody I. Everybody did drugs back then, though. 
But it's true. It was but the times. No, I know. To say that it's, Listen, either people it was involved on drugs, doesn't mean it's a good thing to do. Either they're on drugs, prescribed drugs, or they're coming off of drugs. Right. Like this, that's like the major market now to make money. Personally, I think, you know, when President Trump gets up and he says, you know, that, we're, you know, that so, people, so many people are dying from opioid addiction, it's horrible. But as someone who made the choice to stop doing it, I, I didn't use op opioids, but I used, some, I used a lot of, you know, different things. And I said, I say, I say I, if I can, if I can someone bring myself to stop using stuff that's not good for me, so yeah. can anyone else. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. they don't no, your mind is, take, that, take that approach. I agree with you. If you want to put your mind to anything, exactly. you can do anything. Mind so over speaking matter. of drugs, can I tell a joke? Go ahead. Okay. Here's my joke. I wrote this myself. So um, I have glaucoma now. I'm actually going to get glaucoma surgery. That's a joke? No, no. Okay. So I went to my doctor, yeah. my glaucoma specialist. I go, listen, can I get like those miracle marijuana, card, the medicinal marijuana, because I have glaucoma. Can I smoke marijuana? Right. She goes, oh, no, you'd have to smoke two every two hours. I right. go, I got this. I actually, I'll do edibles. I'll put it on yogurt. I'm half Italian. I'll make meatballs. I'll put it in the so sauce. There you go. You know what I mean? She goes, no, you can't do that. I go, really? She says, yeah. I go, listen, I'm going to go speak to my GI specialist. She says, why? I said, because I can't. She looks at me, okay. She goes, go down there and talk to the GI specialist. So I go down there and talk to the GI specialist. I walk down. I go, listen, can I get one of those miracle marijuana, medicinal marijuana cards? I, he goes, why? I go, I can't sh it. He goes, oh, you can't sh it? I said, yeah. He goes, go down there, get an x-ray, bring it back. So I go get the x-ray, I bring it back. He's, I give it to the doctor. He's looking at the x-ray. He's like, hmm, mm hmm, And he goes, you know what? Today's your lucky day. I go, really? He says, yeah. He goes, you get the card. I go, what? Really? How come? He goes, because you're full of uh, uh, okay, well, I see we're going to have to do a little bleeping, but that's cool. <laughs> Good job. Hey, listen. Nice job. Okay. <laughs> Give yourself a hand. <laughs> you didn't like it. I like it, yeah. yeah. I like it. I, you know, it's, 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 it's quite a story. Do you really have glaucoma? Yes, I do. You do? Oh, but you don't, do you use medical marijuana to... No, 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 you no, no, no. I use okay. drops. I'm going to get surgery. Yeah. This is my oh, that, yeah. You, yeah. Well, what they might have to do is remove cataracts. Isn't that what that is? No, cataracts no, no, is different. different from glaucoma. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay, we're going to wrap it up in a okay. couple of minutes. Well, listen, uh, I hope you had a good time on the show. I did, I did. It was exciting. It was yeah, great to meet you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, and I uh, want you to tell all those people, all the comedians, and you know, talk, you can give... You can give a shout out to a couple of people. Say, how you doing? You're going to see the show. Your daughter's hey. right there. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my good friend, Bobby Kenny. He plays my dad. I know in Bobby. Yeah. yeah, in Serial he's a Facebook friend of he's mine. He's a great mentor. I actually grew up with his sister okay. and his family, so he's very, I'm very close to him and his family. Um, Arthur Hugh, you know Arthur? Oh, Arthur? Yes. No, no, okay. I don't. Okay, so, um, and also my friend Jamie Ryan okay. and... Um, uh, anyone else real quick and then we'll do the... Um, that's it. Okay, so folks, watch more episodes of Topic Time. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Here we go. We have to snap.